What is up? Hello. All right, boys. Is it working? I think so. What is up? Hello. Oh, I don't want to hear my own stream. Why can't I hear it? Where is it playing from? Okay, I found it. I got it. All right, boys. Yay, audio issues. <laughs> All right. I can't buy chat emotes for chips. Um, I think we have on the... I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, unlock a random sub emote is a reward. Yo, what's up? Gaming is fun. All right, boys. Let me. Okay, so. What's good? What is up? Everybody finally live. I know I was going to go live on Friday, but I was not feeling good. So we're going live today, probably tomorrow, too. Today, what I want to do Cool username 556. Hello, welcome to the stream. Chip, can you play KSP2? That is what we're playing. We are playing KSP2 today. I'm going to be building the Saturn V rocket as close as I can to the real thing. Um, like as realistic and we're gonna try to do the mission exactly like the Apollo 11 mission. If that makes sense. All right, so I actually have, let's see. A diagram that we're gonna try to follow I am where did I put it I think it's over in here this okay so we're gonna try to follow this image here as close as we can this is my first time ever being noticed in a stream well there you go uh, I want it to look the same and I want it to behave the same and I want the mission to go exactly the same. That's our goal today. I think we can do it. So let's um, here. Let me pull up KSP. Uh, we'll just do a sandbox campaign. So we have all the parts. Um. Yeah, I think it's possible. Won't be easy, but definitely possible to recreate it. I guess we don't need this giant thing. Maybe we shrink it down. I don't know. What's the best way to show this? Maybe there. Maybe, maybe. All right. So I need it bigger. You're my favorite YouTuber and streamer. I, you said steamer, but I still appreciate it. Glad I'm your favorite steamer. <laughs> um, let me pull up that image on my screen better. So I can really see what's going on here. S streamer lol. <gasps> Oh, um, I and I and son of Thor. Thank you for the follow. All right. Hey, Space Jim. What is up, Chris? Two, seven, one, two, three. What's your favorite video game ever? Oh, that's a hard one. I don't know. There's so many good games. It's lagging. Is it my Internet working? OK, as my bit rate. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's a little bit going up and down. It should be not too bad. Are you going to DoorDash? Perhaps. Perhaps if we if we if we succeed, that could definitely happen. All right. So first of all, I know we're going to need a two seat or a three seat command pod because three astronauts went and we are going to need that little launch escape system at the top. If you look below, is this big enough? Can you guys even tell what's going on with the schematic? I pinged again. What, the Discord? We can? Okay. Okay, okay. 
Sounds good. Okay, so we need the three p the three seat pod for sure. Um, and then we need that launch escape system. But Timmy Timmy 04, thank you for the follow. Um, we need a parachutes on top. So I think we do uh, launch escape is gonna be this thing, you know, kind of like that. But I think we need a parachute. Does it work if we go like this? Put a parachute. Uh, it won't let me put it. Maybe. No, I don't think we can put both. So I think we do radial parachutes then. Radial mount parachute. Uh, we just need to make sure not to block the door so the astronauts can still get out. Is it okay to eat uranium? I have heard that it has lots of calories, so if you're bulking, uh, it could help. <laughs> Don't eat uranium. Your body won't be able to digest it. <laughs> Flip Pluto. I'm a small streamer, but I still love streaming. There you go. Streaming's fun. Okay. So, obviously, we want the colors. They're pretty much just white and black. Uh, but it looks like the top is just straight up white you know and then for the command pod it's like that big well it has this part but then it also has the lander beneath it so i think we need um is there an orbital medium one the poodle i think but the command pond it looks like it only has one engine you know it kind of looks like that oh wait 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 guys we're gonna need a docking port on top so how we're we gonna do the launch escape system with a docking port because it definitely has to dock with the uh where's coupling with the lander you know what game do you think is better space flight simulator or kerbal space program um better is hard uh i think if you're good enough like ksp is really hard but if you put a lot of time into it and learn how it works it is more fun but space flight simulator is a lot easier to get into oh look okay we can put the launch escape system on top of the docking port but i don't like how it kind of pops up like that is that gonna work if i do it like that let me just see if this leaves the way i want it to two two key tank hi hello welcome to the stream um i just am trying to see turn my throttle down oh boy <laughs> um maybe if i we might need a little gap bro flipped i just need the uh the launch escape system to fly off correctly maybe if i do a uh stack decoupler but then turn it upside down you know because i just want this to fly away right so here let's just make our first stage just this so I just needed to break off. Oh, perfect. Okay, that was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we don't actually need the launch escape system. Uh, it's just for looks. But we want it to function the way they shoot it off, you know. Chat, should I try and win a Fortnite game? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> um, all right, guys. This is looking good for the command pod. Um, I'm going to look up a picture of just the command pod to make sure I get all the details right. Apollo 11 command module. Um, it looks like ours is probably a little bit too big. And it also is more metallic than I thought. Pull this picture up. This is what it looks like. So it needs to be more metallic 
And look, it has antenna and RCS on it. So let's make sure we put those on. Um, so just, is this the one we just did and it was too big? I think just that one, maybe? That looks almost like that plus this little one, I think is about the right size. Which red and bad for your teeth, a brick. Yeah, I think that's about the right size. And then we need the antenna and RCS and is that, I don't know, a battery maybe? Stabilizer? Where's stabilizer? Yeah, it does look like it has something kind of like that. So I think we'll go with that. And then a, the sustainer, the skipper probably. Chip, Pluto is here. Pluto is here. Pluto is a cool planet. Actually, Pluto's not a planet, so. Oh, Pluto the real planet's in the chat. <laughs> Are you doing the Apollo rocket? Yeah, we're trying to build the Saturn V as close to the real thing as possible. That's why we have this diagram here that I'm trying to copy. Um, let me make sure I got that right. So we just need RCS now and then put... That's an antenna on it. Okay. Um, wait, how are the RCS going to have fuel? Because they need a separate fuel tank. They use a uh, mono propellant. Uh, okay, I'm going to try something. Can I just... Does that work? Chat, does anyone know? Does anyone know enough about this game to know if that'll work? I'm looking for the RCS now. It looks like it had four of these. Part clipping? No. Hostel Russ's no is in he doesn't know, most likely. That's how it... I'm just trying... I'm focusing more on looks. Like... But function is very important too. Let's just see if I turn on RCS. Um, oh yeah, yeah, okay, that works. That works. Perfect. And it has a little bit of RCS on here too, but I go in for that because that looks more like the real thing. I'm unsubbing. I'm a planet, you know that? You are not a real planet, you are a dwarf planet. Don't unsub to the goat. <laughs> All right, I'm liking the way this is looking. Can I part clip these parachutes inside? Um, they kind of rotate weird. If I do this, are they gonna die? Okay, let's do a quick test launch just of this. So we want that and then that and then that, okay. So this is just like a quick re-entry test. So this is the command mo podu module. <laughs> dwarf planet equals planet. It's actually dwarf planet, so no. Um, if all fails, just download a Steam file of the rocket. They don't have workshop on KSP2 yet. There's no workshop files. Um, oh yeah, this has plenty of Delta V. This will definitely work. Um, we need the command module to slow down at the moon because while they're on their way to the moon is when they dock with the lander. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's just boost up. And I just want to see if these parachutes will work. So also theoretically, I should be able to do this and that launch escape system shoots off. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. So then we have this exposed. Oh yeah, and the parachutes work too. Nice. All right, and let's make sure four parachutes is enough to fully slow us down. The moon is a cool satellite. I agree. Can you make a space shuttle soon? That would be cool. I'll probably do that at some point. Definitely. We could try doing a, like a chat builds a space station and use um, space shuttle to bring it up. 
bring the parts up. It's thir I think 13 meters per second might be a little bit too fast. I think if we add a couple drogue parachutes too, we'll be good though. All right, this is looking good. I got another ad. Thank you for watching the ad and giving me money. <laughs> Make a single launch one-to-one -one scale ISS. You know how hard that would be? I don't think I'm good enough at the game. Um, we need this to be more silver. I remember that. So if you actually like go like this, I think it like does more silver. Yeah, check that out. That's looking a lot better. Maybe even a little less. It looked pretty like chrome colored like that. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, now we need to, or let's add those drogue parachutes. Radial mount drogue. Um, make sure it'll block the door. And then we should be able to part clip these in too. All right. Hey, Space Trip, how you been doing? I haven't been to the last few streams because of school. I've been doing good. How are you? Welcome back. Never back down, never won. <laughs> Eat a spaceship at a million subs on YouTube. What is a spaceship? Um, let's build the lander now. So let's uh, save this. Let's name this Saturn 5. And then works for, I don't know, Apollo 11. Okay, I'm going to pull up a picture of just the lander because I want to make sure this looks as good as we can get. And then I will add it to stream. Let's see. Hostile Frost cheered. I saw, I, someone sent a hydrate full drink up. I got you. We should make those like alerts on the stream. Can we do that? Okay, I think if I uh, go and do image. Ignore that, my lunar client. What am I trying to do? This, change this to this. There we go, okay, so that's what we're going for. Thank you for the three bits, Hostile. Drink liquid uranium. I don't have access to liquid uranium, unfortunately. Um, oh, let me pull it up. So I can see it too. One second. There we go. All right. All right. Here we go, boys. So I don't think we have the exact parts to make it look like that. Let's just start a new build. Um, we want just a one seat lander can because. Oh no, we want two seat because. Um, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin go down to the surface. So this is our lander base. Now to make it look like that, how are we going to do that? Make sure remember I said I did not clip it. I do remember that. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I hate Pluto. Um, and obviously you're not the real Pluto because Pluto's not a planet. So Pluto the real planet, it's not real. <laughs> um, we need... What do we need? Definitely RCS, and it looks like there's a weird antenna on the top. We also need a docking port on top. So we need, definitely need this on top, but how do we make that look better? I don't think we're gonna get it to look just like this because this pod does not look the same at all, but we can get okay, I think. Um, I saw someone use kind of like these as like a way to get the orange and also get fuel tanks. They did kind of like something like this. Maybe two layers of that. I kind of want them coming out more though. Well, how much, what if we did Hear me out, hear me out. Drink liquid Einsteinium. <laughs> Bruh. I can't wait when you travel to Jewel. That will definitely happen. 
I'm going to get good at this game, I swear. I'm still learning how to build good rockets. Oh, wait, okay. Apollo, they use a two-stage lander. I know that. So, we need actually two stages going down. Um, What's the best way to do this? Go no tech to Elu. I cannot do that, unfortunately. I'm not good at this game. I don't even know how to build a Saturn V. Doing my best, though. Okay, I think we put... So we need two stages on the lander. A return stage, which... How are we going to do this? I'm looking at the lander. Well, we definitely need some RCS. So let's start with that. Oh, I don't mean to click out. Uh, mono propellant. It looks like it just kind of, I guess we just go kind of with this and then do four all around and put a mono propellant RCS on those. Yeah? We need Kerbal Armstrong. We totally do. We should look at the names and see if we can try to get this right. Um, antenna on the top. Oh, battery. We probably do want a battery. What if we put the... A battery. Like that? I'm, I am like how that looks. And then... I don't know what all these little instruments are doing, but we definitely want a communication... It looks like it has something kind of like that's too big just like that should work we also want one on here i forgot then the docking port which is in coupling okay 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 i wasted a thousand chips just for you to take one sip do you want to chug chug the rest of my drink I don't know what you want from me. Hostile, put that on there. <laughs> um, okay. Guys, what's the best way to do a two-stage lander? I feel like we're, get we're getting on the right track with this. We just need a little engine on the return. Can this access those fuel tanks? Because if so, that's probably all we need. And then, okay, okay, I'm getting it. I think I know what to do. Then we need a, yeah, okay. And then add more orange ones. Hear me out, this is gonna work. What? Why are they turning like that? Okay, I need to replace these. Chip, I have an idea. Eat anti antimatter. If you get me some, I'll do it. Just for you. Rotate. There we go. Okay. Then we put this one like that. Hey, that's not looking too bad. I think. I think so. Uh, landing legs, probably these ones. And it has four. Okay. Well, definitely not like that. Go like this and then move them down probably. Okay, guys, honest thoughts on this versus the real Apollo lander. You can see it in the corner. I love the stream. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Peter Jack, W follow Pluto. Did someone follow and I missed it? Thank you for the follow. 
You got three tries. If you fail, you DoorDash today deal. I'd be down. That's the deal. <laughs> Didn't you used to love Pluto? Uh, I was lying the whole time. I want to see if this lander works the way I want it to. So let's launch just this. So yeah, it's a two-stage lander. So... Okay, it looks like this doesn't have access to the... Okay, well, something's not working right. We need to fix that. Hey, Hostel, will you add that to the uh, the stream info? Put three failed attempts and chat picks DoorDash. That's a, that's a good plan. Let's see, how do we make this work? I think the engines need to be kind of on the fuel tanks. Okay, what if I like put them like this? Put... Hmm. I don't know how to attach it. Like, does that get the fuel like that? I don't think it does. Oh, does it? Oh, it does. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good to know. Um, How much Delta V does that give us? Because it says zero in the VAB, but that's wrong. We need... I think it, it said like 900, and I think that's enough. So I think... Oh, I did not... Oh, no, I didn't mean to delete all of them again. Oh, I'm going to have to replace this, I think. Put them in the middle. Put this there and that'll work and then we just move these out to kind of make it look better yeah like that then you add uh the decoupler on it can i disable the fairing that might be causing issues Uh, hi Chip, what's up? Make the lander from murder drones or eat uranium. What are murder drones? Um, okay, and then we need fuel for this next stage. Which, maybe we add... A... Engine mount. Then put these on, so it's kind of like the same as the other one, if that makes sense. Oh, I did not. Oh, okay. I'm learning how to build. I think we're doing okay. Put this here and then go like this and bring them out. Okay. All right. Let's see if this just works how I want it to. How are you, Chippy? Doing good. How are you? Okay, 465 Delta V. We might need a little more on that stage then. Oh, okay, guys, it's working. Okay, our two-stage lander is working. So imagine this. We're landing on the moon. Um, all right, all right, all right. All right, chill, chill. We don't have landing legs. Um, <laughs> so imagine we land, uh, and then... Here, let me put legs on it really quick. I think we're getting our two-stage lander working. How's it looking, chat? We got a poll going. Everyone vote on the poll. Let's line them up. Oh, see if we can line them up on the... Why does it do that? Okay, I think we're good. Let me make sure these are oriented correctly. Like that, because we don't need the legs on the ascent. Oh, why are they inverted? Uh, let me just... Oh, boy. There we go. Okay, let me test our lander. 
The lanterns. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I do think we need a little more fuel because I don't know if 400 is enough because you need about 500 to land. Okay, so imagine this. We're landing on the moon and it'll be a lot easier because there's less gravity. Okay, we're landed. And then we break off and ascend with this stage. Yes, that'll work. Um, it's not going to take off because there's not enough thrust, but I do think it'll work. And we have 900 in that stage. That's perfect. So we just need a little bit more on the thing. What are the yellow shiny beads? Those are the fuel tanks. Because <laughs> there's no way to... I didn't know how to make it look um, like it does in this image, the one below. So I'm, I'm kind of doing my best. Um, I do think I need a little bit more fuel in this stage. So I'm going to kind of do the similar thing again. Maybe just six. How much fuel does that give me in that stage? 701, that should work. So we can use all of that stage to land and it doesn't really take off, but that's okay. And then this stage will break off. Are they broken off? They're, the bottom one's still firing. I think that works. Okay. That's good. So we now have the lander and the command module done. Those are the two hardest parts. How's that a fuel tank? I thought that was the white stuff. Uh, these? These are just the fuel tanks for the RCS. These are little... The reason I use them is because they're orange and they I can pack a lot of them in to make it not super tall. Because you don't, you don't want your lander to be super tall. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Especially since we are limited by our parts. So now, can you recycle please? Thank you. So now we have a lander and a command pod. Now we need to build the rest of the Saturn V. Do you think you'd get a chance to model a rocket for an actual space mission one day? Uh, probably not. I would, I would destroy the rocket. <laughs> I would not be good. I'm not very good at building rockets. I try my best though. Uh, I'll put the other image back up for you guys. Okay, now we need to build the body, which looks like that. All right. So, we can bring these back in. And we will save what we've built so far. Okay, so the uh, this launches underneath, but I think we need a stack separator. Just a small one. For that. Um, actually, we probably need a... Can I turn this fairing off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we put our own fairing beneath... this one so we put a media or a large probably yeah and then disable this fairing and add my own so it can oh those kind of clip out i wonder if i can go like this Oh yeah, this will totally work. Yeah, 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 like that. That looks a lot better. Put an antenna on the lander. I did. It's right, uh, right there. And then edit this fairing and have it go. It kind of slants in, so I'll have it go like right here and then slant in to connect to this one. Why did that not work? Up. Out of thing. Dragon X247, thank you for the follow. How do you make these connect right? Like that? No? Fairings are tricky. I know there's like a trick to them, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe you just kind of clip it in. Bruh, how do you make it work? 
Are you launching the rocket today? Yes, we will do the entire mission today. Cool username 556. 556. Thank you for the follow. It means a lot. We're trying to get to a thousand followers. Can I just force it? How does it not work? Chat, make it work. How do I make it work? Hmm. How's the rocket going? It's actually, I think it's going pretty good. We have the lander and the command pod done. I can't get this fairing to work though. Like that? Bro, how does it not work? Just do what make your dreams come true. I hope you don't fail three times today. I think you guys hope I do. Um, And yeah, we'll count loading a quick save as maybe. <sighs> what happens if I don't have a, well, I need that decoupler, but let's just see if. Huh. Huh. Is it bad if I like Pluto? Yes. That's terrible. You should try to make Star Wars stuff next. That'd be pretty cool, actually. I would totally be down to do that. I don't know what the trick is with these fairings. I'm trying to turn. How does it not work? We will decide with a poll if quick saving counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hostile, run a poll. Ask if quick saving counts as an attempt. Like if I, not like doing a quick save, but if I load a quick save, how much better are the building mechanics in this versus KSP1? I think overall they're better, but the fairings did seem to kind of work better in KSP1. I don't know. I haven't played a lot of KSP1. I've definitely played more KSP2 at this point. All right, chat. I don't know why this fairing doesn't work. Yeah, okay, I'm Googling it. One sec. I really need this fairing to work. SP2 fairing won't. What would you say? Connect. I know there's a way because I've done it before. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it, guys. According to Reddit, you build it how you want it. So like this, and then once you do that, you do another plus. So I want it to be like that. And drag it up as and towards the center as far as you can. What? It didn't work. If it just, like... Went like that, that would be perfect. Ugh, oh, bruh. Relaunch game? Okay, I'll try that. Let's save it. We'll restart the game because I have not had issues this bad before. Restarting. What's better, jets or rockets in case we do? I haven't built enough jets to really know. Spaceship, when are you going to stream on YouTube next? Um, also, I'm not trying to beg because I kind of want mod. <laughs> yeah, I did give you mod that one time. It's because we couldn't do VIPs, but we have VIPs now. Um, I don't know what I'll next stream on YouTube. I like streaming on Twitch better. It's more chill. Um, I only really stream on YouTube for like big events that I want like all of my subscribers to see. We're restarting the game. Chip, I bought Hydrate. Why can't I see if someone buys Hydrate? I can see, highlight my message. NASA or SpaceX? That's not water. I don't have water next to me. 
All right, the game's restarting. Um, what was the question? NASA or SpaceX? Ooh. Um, I don't know. I think that SpaceX is cool because it's like, that's really like where the future is going to be with a lot of like private companies doing their own stuff. I think SpaceX is really pushing space travel and I think it's really cool. All right, restarted. Let's see. What's your favorite space-based game? Ooh, uh, it de really depends on what you're trying to do. It's like the main ones I play are all like different aspects of like space. Cause you have like universe sandbox where you can actually build planets and then space engine where you can like view the entire universe. And then there's like KSP and space flight simulator where you're building, uh, you're building rockets, like how humans actually go to space. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Okay, I honestly have no idea why it's not working. Is there something I'm missing? Maybe the fairing is colliding with with the decoupler, maybe? What if I put a a small, well, medium decoupler with a large fairing? Okay, it's definitely not hitting the decoupler now. Ah, okay, I got it. Okay, finally. I guess that was it. Chat's decided that you can quick save. Okay. That's that's easy then. We got it. Yes, it worked. We actually got it. Okay. That is looking good. Let me I need to see. Okay, I was just pulling up the picture again. Alright, so we can do quick saves. That is good. Okay, now that we have our this top section. If you look at just the very tippy top section, that's what we have done. That's what this is. Then we have the instrument unit, which looks like it's just the transfer stage that pushes this, pushes us to the moon. Um, so let's move the whole rocket up because we're gonna need some more space. Okay, we're gonna need some Lar I guess we're going large. That's a decoupler there, right? On top of it is. Bro, why did it? Okay. Okay. I, I got scared for a second. What's your least favorite space game? I don't know. What we'll stage you in the, for the rocket right now? So all we've built is, if you look below, that really tiny top section. So right now we're working on the one that says instrument unit. Um, which doesn't look like it's super long. Probably just that. And then... A... Rhino? Or the tuba? Or even maybe... Skipper? Why does the fairing keep disappearing? I feel like large is almost too big, but it definitely has to be that big to cover our lander. What PC requirements does KSP need? The first one is super low. You can run it on a lot, like a really low end PC. Uh, KSP 2, you need a pretty, pretty beefy. I think the recommended is like a 3060 Ti or 4060 or something. I have a 4090 and it still struggles when I have a big rocket. Um, What do you guys think? Probably not launcher. That almost looks too too massive. Godzilla one two seven three. Thank you for the follow. Honestly, I think it looks better if we do, because we don't need that much thrust. I'm say we put an engine mount and then put a skipper. Is that, I think that matches the picture better. Nathan Rago six. Yes. Full time, full time for what? I've never seen KSP one. Yeah, it's, it's pretty old. I like the way this one looks a lot better. I don't know what the deal with the fairing is, but it looks like I can spawn it back at any time. Yeah, it looks like it gets even bigger here. So we're gonna go extra large. 
Um, but the fairing don't connect there. Why would you do that? Can I just do like an adapter? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, this is the perfect piece. Yeah. And then put this on it. Yeah, and then these extra large pieces. It looks like just one of these and then the Labradoodle is look at that. Now we're on that second stage and oh, Labradoodle is not going to be OK. I definitely know what we need to do. We need to do an engine plate. Ads, you're welcome. Thank you for the money. When and what was your first PC? I built my first PC when I was probably 15 and it was not the best, but it worked. It had a uh, GTX 1060 and a what was it? A I7 3770 or something. I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't the best, but it definitely worked. Then I think, so if you look at the second stage, it has five engines. So I think we do five vectors. So we put this here and then put four of these also to kind of get that vector, to get it to look right. They need to be, they're not perfectly centered. How does that look? Looks pretty good, I think. Engine plate, yum. You are an engineer? Um, I wouldn't go that far. Peer view, you're so old, you have to say when I was 15. I mean, yeah, I'm not 15 anymore. <laughs> Chip, do you have some old graphics cards? No. <laughs> Guys, can you, send, can you send me your graphics card? Okay, now we need our first stage, which looks like it's a lot bigger. Um. Go just on the middle one, sir. Why does it? Why does the fairing go like that? I need like a structural piece here. Just an empty. Like this piece, but empty. Where do I find that? In payload, maybe. Tube. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This. Maybe. What? I don't know how this is supposed to work. In payload. Oh yeah, yeah, like this this piece. Yeah, like that. Oh wait, why does it have a weird thing on the inside? Why does everything like lock on so weird? On the middle. Middle, right there. Oh, it's cause it okay. I need to disable the fairing. Ugh. Space Jib, I might sub today on the Twitch. That'd be awesome. There we go. Chip, is RX 588 gig a good graphics card? I think so. I don't really know the AMD cards as well. Why don't you stream on YouTube anymore? It's more chill to stream on Twitch, I think. And I, I don't know. It's more fun, I think. And it like... It's a lot better for live streaming. They have a lot more uh, support for different things like polls and different stuff like that. On the Twitch, that'd be awesome. Will you fly to the moon with the Saturn V? We will. We're going to do the mission exactly like Apollo 11 did it. Um, now that we have that, we need to build our first stage, our launch stage, which is going to be pretty beefy extra large tank come here Is that enough probably honestly that's probably enough but we definitely want an engine plate because we're going to need if you look at the bottom it's got a lot of engines um probably the mammoth mammoth is pretty big that's probably too big um 
We do maybe four main sails. Like this. You know? And then we put the aerodynamic cones on them. The chipper in five. This game is space flight simulator, but in 3D. <laughs> when are we gonna order DoorDash? Or do we already order? If we fail the mission three times, then we will DoorDash. That's the that's the deal today. Alright guys, how do we feel about this? Uh put put that back on. We need to color it, but I think the stages are built pretty well. Um oh we need it has little fins on these. Definitely make those smaller though. Root length. Wingspan down to. And rotate them. Yeah? Okay, let's color it. So it's white and then the accent will be black. And we make sure it's on parts so we can just click all the parts we want to color. Oh yeah, here we go, boys. This is looking good. Something like that? Wow, okay, this actually looks pretty good, I think. Play TF2 next stream? I've never played TF2. Oh, did someone, did someone do the, uh, the thing? How come I can't see when someone redeems stuff? I can only see the highlight my message one. Chip, why in Space Flight Simulator is it so complicated to build the Saturn V? I've never tried to build the Saturn V in Space Flight Simulator. All right, boys, do you think we should try it? Or should we do a test flight or what? I mean, I think we should just go for it because we have three attempts. I definitely need a stage of this. So we want our launch stage with this one. And then it breaks off there. Activate those four, yes. Um, and then probably... After the second stage activates is when we want to do our launch escape breaking off. Uh, which is more of a just for looks thing because it's not like we're actually going to save them with this. So here, break those two off. Yeah. Yes. And then after that, we want to break off here and activate that engine yes then break the fairing open and break off there yeah 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 and then we'll have to deal with the whole docking situation we just want to make sure this is the can we go internal view if i want to see in here okay so we want to make sure on the lander the stages are in the right order so we need our, that's the command pod engine. This is the first lander stage. So this first, um, and then that's the second one. So then that second, yeah. All right, and then we can kind of figure out in space too. Very realistic, it looks good. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm proud of this. I think it looks pretty close to the real thing and I tried to make it as realistic as possible. All right, you guys ready? Let me clear this. We don't need this in our way anymore. You boys ready for this? Attempt one. Launch hype and no heat damage. Oh wait, I don't think I added a heat shield or a decoupler. Thank you for saying something. Right here, we need to add a heat shield and a decoupler. That would have been bad. Heat shield first. All right, there we go. Okay, now we are ready. Uh, put the fairing back on, please. Thank me, Chip, again. <laughs> How did you forget a heat shield? I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to focus on copying the, the actual design. Wait, this is the heat shield one. We want this last. 
Uh, put that there. I don't know what that goes to. We'll have to see. Yeah, that. And then parachutes last. Okay, save. Here we go. We're going for launch. We have w enough Delta V for sure. This should totally work. Okay. Uh, oh, well, that's not good. Okay, uh, the attempt only counts if I click launch because that was definitely a bug. I'm going to put some struts on. And I need to make sure the... Uh, if you do fail, which food will you DoorDash? You guys get a pick. Whatever you guys want, we can do a poll. Um, let me put some struts to help with the stability. Okay, and then also make sure this is on um, Kerbal Manager. We need to make sure that our gumball is filled with not the tunic. We don't want any in the in our lander. Gumball is our command pod. Let's go Bill, Jebediah, and Tim as our three Apollo 11 astronauts. Okay, now we're going to try to go for lunch. Chat, throwback to when Spaceship shot real Saturn V rocket in person. I did. Went to the Kennedy Space Center. Um, bro, why is the fairing not working? And where are my fools? There's a parachute inside of him. Okay, I think these are the two landers. Ugh, where did the freaking the, the, the fairing go? The fairing doesn't work. I think we maybe just launch without the fairing. You should have stuffed a colony of Kerbals like last time. Just launch. Okay, I'm going to add a launch clamp and I guess this fairing doesn't work. Um, We'll just, we'll see if that works. Um, Let's add a launch clamp because the real one had a big giant launch clamp. Can we just do one launch clamp like the real one? Oh, that was not on it. Oh, that's clipping into... We need it, like, on this angle. Will one launch clamp be able to hold it? We're going to the moon now? Yes, we are. Yeah, one launch clamp can hold it. Okay, boys, the fairing didn't work, but we're going to go for it anyway. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! Okay, the launch clamp worked. It was in its own stage, but it looked like it worked. Don't hit it. Perfect. Okay, here we go. This is attempt one. This is attempt one. And quick saves do not count as attempts. You guys voted for that. So a, a new attempt only counts if I launch off the launch pad again. So if I have to like fix something. All right, we're going. He seems like a nice guy, Bob. Does everyone hate Bill for some reason? Hey, this is surprisingly stable. I am happy with this design so far. The only thing is that fairing, which is kind of annoying. I don't want to tilt too much. That's probably good for now. <laughs> you put in emote only chat. Here we go. We're going boys. To the moon we go. Bob and Bill, and then why is, I don't know why. Oh, guys, we have an extra astronaut. <laughs> why did it add another one? We're not gonna be able to bring them all back. We're gonna have to strand one on the moon now. <laughs> all right, well, I guess we'll leave, we'll leave, uh, we'll leave Bill. Cause you guys don't like him. Will it work if you fly to the sun at night? That's a genius idea, guys. Why don't we just fly to the sun at night when it's, when it's dark? So it doesn't burn us. All right, all right. Looking good so far. This is the third attempt. No, it is not. Do the Kerbals have certain roles? Um, they did in KSP 1. I don't think they do in sandbox mode, but I think like the love like science and engineer ones that like give you different stuff. I don't really know how it works. 
I think it would go up a little more. There's the moon. There, there's that's where we're going. I think we can shoot off the launch escape system. Let's try it. Oh, that was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Their roles is to exist. <laughs> they do whatever I tell them to get me to the moon. Obviously. Okay, this is our orbital stage, so it should get us most of the way to orbit, hopefully. It looks like maybe not. Good thing we have a whole transfer stage, too. Because on Apollo 11, they actually um, used the command pod to slow down once they got there. So we're going to try to do that. A little bit higher. About 70. All right. And then let's get in orbit. Let's do a maneuver. Yeah, that, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna have to dip a little into our next stage, but that should be okay. Here we go, boys. Make a rescue mission later for build. That'd be funny. Chat prediction. First try. Do you believe in me? You're my you're my favorite. Minions tonight we steal the moon. Let's do it. Bob and Bill. That we're gonna leave Bill. He doesn't know that though, so don't tell him yet. I'm a believer. Hostile believes. Hey, a first try mission for me is very impressive. I actually, usually it takes me like five or more tries to get a mission working. I guess it's because I copied NASA and NASA probably knows what they're doing. No, no, let's DoorDash and eat Bill. Okay, guys. Chat, gamble your points. Yeah, you could gamble your channel points, your chips. Let's see if I can make it. So basically, if you say yes, I'll make it, and I do, you get all the points that people said no distributed. Like, it's like gambling, but not real money, so. So it's okay. <laughs> all right, we're going to need to dip into our next stage in just a sec. All right, here we go. What is burning? Okay, I think that's okay. The outer casing burned, but I think we're, I think we're chilling. Well, there go my chips. Is one you believe hostile? If they have a one, that means they believe in me and two means they don't, right? What if I change my vote right before you crash? I'm pretty sure you can't. Yeah, I don't think you can. One means yes. Okay, so if you have a one next to your name, you're my favorite. And if you have a two, you can, you can leave. <laughs> Cray, Cray owns you is now following. Thank you for the follow. Oh, Chris redeemed hydrate. I saw it this time. It's almost gone. Ugh. All right. I accidentally bitted that you will lose. Well, that's what you get for liking Pluto. You're about to lose because I'm going to do this first try. You guys don't even know. I'm insane at this game. Good night, chat. I gotta go. Thanks for coming. Uh, chorus JJO, thank you for the follow. All right, this stage is lots of fuel. We did a really good engine here. Why don't I have a one I voted? You do. It shows a one for me. Cool username doesn't believe in me. All right, we are in orbit now. All right, boys. So everything is going surprisingly well. Let's create a maneuver and get ourselves to the moon. That's way too much. So this stage should definitely have enough to get us on our way to the moon too. Uh, can I make it a more normal encounter? We want to be as close as we can, so probably like that will work. And then we'll have to get in orbit from there. All right, boys. Only 855, and then we're going to need to... On the way to the moon is when we dock, we open the fairing, 
turn the command module around and dock it into the lander. So this is going to be one of the coolest parts. Chat, if you knew, we are flying to the moon in the Saturn V rocket. Yes, we're up to 38 viewers. Let's go. Welcome, everybody. Um, we are about to... Why is three times the max warp speed? We are definitely high enough. There we go. All right, it just was glitched. Would you let any of the space games you play sponsor you? And if you were to, which one would you want to sponsor you the most? Yeah, I would. Um, me and the, I've talked to a lot of the Universe Sandbox people. They give me like keys that I can give away, um, but not like anything actually sponsored. Um, I've tried to talk to the people on the Space Engine Discord, but they don't reply. Like I wanted to see if I could get some keys to give away to you guys, but they didn't respond. I don't know if any of them did. Oh, Kerbal Space Program 2 gave me the game for free, which was very nice of them to play it. And now we're playing it, but it's not like sponsored. Like they don't pay me anything. Is KSP1 good? I have heard very good things. It's supposed to be better than KSP2 right now. I just never really got into it. And it's like, I might as well get into KSP2 because it's the new one, you know? You lucky mother. <laughs> I would have bought it if they didn't give it to me. Um, it's pretty cool. I like it. All right, boys, going to the moon now. Yo, spaceship, what is up? Not much, we're going to the moon. Doing good. How expensive is Space Engine? It's, uh, I think it's 25 in the US on Steam. It's actually not that bad. Like, it's totally worth it. Chat, I'm a believer. Let's go hostile, he believes in me. Only 37% believed, right? Most people thought I would not get it first try, which I am a little bit offended about. You guys don't believe that I'm good at this game. Doing our burn. This engine's really efficient, which is good. Oh, stop. Stop, stop burning. Wait, where's my encounter? Did I go that much too far? We're gonna have to turn around. It's okay, we have lots of fuel and we're about to break this engine off. I think I went a little bit too far. Turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what's the blue line? Yeah, we want it where that orange line is. Right there. All right, that looks good. All right, boys, we are on our way. Actually bet it against you. Please, can I unbet? Nope, you can't. You picked what you picked. All right, now comes the fun part. I'm gonna wait a little bit till we're like on the way. We are going to be un docking we're breaking off and then docking the command pod into the uh lander so there's the moon so we're gonna quick save so i have as many attempts as i want because you guys said uh quick saves do not count as attempts so we need to make sure the next stage will break that and that that's perfect uh let's do it okay now we need to break this one off on our next stage. Uh, definitely do not activate that engine yet. And that's a stack separator, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now what we do is we turn on RCS. We set this as our target. Maybe. Turn around. Can we destroy this little piece? It's fine, it'll be okay. Set as target. Why can't I set?
Turn this engine on. Okay. Usually it'll let me set the docking port as the target. Um, let me try switching over and setting this one as a target. There we go. Okay. Now switch back. Set as target. There we go. And then have them both aim at target. This is how you dock. I'm not very good at it. So now the docking ports are aiming at each other. And then we should be able to kind of use the RCS to adjust me to go right into it. Here we go. Oh, you're kind of going a little bit. Oh, okay. I guess they docked. All right, boys, we are docked. This makes it too easy, lol. I'm doing my best. Come on, rookie, park that thing. <laughs> We're getting it first try. I think we are going to. Um, we now have the command pod and the lander docked the way we want them to. Perfect. Now we continue on our journey to the moon. Um, and we make sure that this engine is not on. Okay, that one's not on. And this one's on. Yeah, yeah. So if I use my engine, that one goes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Make sure we don't run into that. And we should be able to just time warp away now. Which way am I going? Oh yeah, we're going, we're not gonna hit those, perfect. Now, we are on our way. I want to unbed, accidentally bet against you. That's what you, that's, that's, sorry, you didn't believe. Only 37% believed. All right, guys, let's go. Let's just warp to the encounter. Which is right here, right? Let me do a quick save. Yeah, yeah, right there. All right, we can now see the moon. That's where we're going. So now we're gonna use... What two engines are activated? This? Why is... No, no, no. Don't activate. Just this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the Delta V is exactly what I want now. Now we create a maneuver plan. Tonight we steal the moon. <laughs> okay, we're going to create another maneuver plan and get ourselves into orbit of the moon. That's not a very good orbit, but I think that's okay. I don't need 243. Um, turn on SAS. Get this going. Oh, we need to make sure, because I remember sometimes... You got to make sure you do control from here. Yeah. Otherwise, it thinks you're using the wrong engine. We can turn the lights on. And it will make you go the wrong way. Plant the flag when you're on the moon. We will definitely do that. Bro is Gru. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Here we go. Let's warp to our maneuver. There's the moon, guys. Okay. Let's just warp a little more. We are about to burn our way into orbit now. This is the first try. Didn't we have an extra person? Yeah, he's still three. We have, yeah, we have five. We only wanted to bring three, but we accidentally brought four. So we're gonna have to leave one on the moon. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna leave uh, Bill because no one likes Bill. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. We got our man pod slowing us down. Three, two, one, cut. How's that? Looks pretty good. Glad I voted against you. That is rude. <laughs> Why are you glad? I'm totally going to make it. This rocket is working perfectly. Very first try. I'm very proud of it. Um, which way am I going? I'm going around the back. Okay. So then we'll make a maneuver like right here. Just to... Oh, wait, wait. I got to undock first. Let's get my orbit. Uh, I don't want to use too much. Just kind of get my orbit a little bit better before I go for this landing. Yeah, I think we can sacrifice 142. All 
All right. And then we will undock and go for the land. Believe it or not, everyone likes Bill. Not everyone. If you make it, you still door dash, right? No, we got we got three attempts. And this is the first attempt. That's how good I am. And 16. What about the return mission? What about it? We're totally returning. Three, two. I totally could have lined my original orbit up better, but that that looks good. I think we can get a dock from that orbit. Now comes the scariest part. We are undocking now. Wait, we need to make sure our Kerbals are in the right seats. Kerbal manager. So in our, who are we stranding? We're stranding Bill. So we're gonna bring Bob and Bill down to the surface, but we have to drop Bill, Bob off. So Bob will get off, plant the flag, and then we'll just leave him because we only have three seats on the way home. We can't bring all four back. Chat new poll. Do we change it to door? Wait, what is this poll? Do we change it to DoorDash if he doesn't make it this time? <laughs> All right, so if I don't make it this attempt, <laughs> everyone's voting yes. <laughs> Please fail on purpose so you can get them nuggies. Hey, well, <laughs> oh boy. Cool username doesn't even believe in me. Everyone with a two next to your name, I don't trust you. Okay, so plan is to strand Bill. Let's undock. Why didn't it work? Uh oh. Are they undocked? No, they're definitely still docked. There we go. All right. So now we are going to be controlling just the command pod. Let's just get out of the way. Okay. So, if we're coming around this way, we're going into the daylight right now. So we can start slowing down. Let's do it. Let's just make sure we don't hit the command pod. And we're going to totally do this. And retrograde now. That's retrograde. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Bring us down. Here we go. Who are the passengers? It is Bob and Bill. And we're going to leave Bill on the surface because we don't have enough time to take him home. Let's see if we can land like in this gray area. That should be good. All right. Here we go, boys. We're going in. And we have lots of fuel, so we don't have to worry about doing suicide burns or anything because we have a two stage lander and just the landing stage is twelve hundred. Um, which I'm pretty sure would be enough to go there and back. So we're good. We're good with feel for sure. We're getting in the worst food we know. <laughs> no, you're not, because I'm totally going to land this. You know what let's just go straight sideways so i can just go straight down into it because i have so much fuel and we should be going like straight down yeah perfect this will make the landing a lot easier all right here we go new poll chat chat who do we leave behind <laughs> everyone's gonna vote bill i already know no way everyone doesn't vote Bill. Bob! Everyone's voting Bob now. I vote Bill. People like Bill now, I guess. Okay, here we go. We don't like Bob. I love Bill. Okay, I guess Bob is staying. We can leave Bob on the surface. We do have to leave someone because we did not. Oh, we should open this just for fun. 
<laughs> Aw, I like it. I like my lander that I built. All right, this looks like a pretty flat landing spot because we're in like the, the dark gray craters, cratered area. With my shadow. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's right there. Okay. That You can kind of use your shadow to see how far you really are. Because once the shadow is right on you is when you're... Oh, we're like stopped. Aim up. Here we go. Going in. Going in. The Saturn V rocket. Yeah. Perfect landing, I think. Can be really gentle because we have a lot of fuel. Oh yeah, look at that. That was so good. I literally am Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Bob Villanark is starting. We got touchdown. Yes, let's go. Touchdown. All right. All right, guys. We did it. We successfully landed the Saturn V lander. Apollo 11 lander. Now go outside and plant that flag. We will do that. All right. So we're leaving. Who won the poll? It was, it was Bob, right? Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Landed on the moon. Plant your flag, bud. Okay, site name. What are we naming it? Guys, chat. We need a good name and plaque text. Um, are we, are we relieving him? Sacrifice? That's good. On this day, I stay because there's no room. Here we go, boys. <laughs> yes! All right, you live here now. Can we switch back? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this dock and return mission now. Um, I think we might want to wait. Honestly, that's actually a pretty good launch angle. Um, we want to launch and go east. Let's do it. Yeah? Yeah? Here we go. Bye, Bob. Goodbye. We will maybe rescue you. No chance. No guarantees, though. So we should be able to break this off now. And yeah. And then use this engine. Perfect. So I want to go this way, east. Yeah, two-stage lander. That worked perfect. Check that out. I'm actually really proud of this design. Here we go. Back to orbit we go. We got a clip. Thank you for clipping. We got lots of Delta V. This should be easy. Spaceship leaving Bob to die. <laughs> We're just running to the store to get some milk, BRB Bob. Yeah, Bob, it's okay. We'll be back. Just we're just like, just 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 chill, for probably a few years while I build a new rocket to come save you. Where's my? Oh, the game is bugged. Look, there's no trajectory line. We're definitely gonna need that. Okay, I'm gonna try saving and then loading the quick save. This doesn't count as an attempt. It's a bug. Bro, where is? See, look, there's no line telling me where I'm going which is an issue. We're definitely gonna want that. Ah, uh, how do we get that? 
Oh, look, I totally did too much because now we're going out. No, that's not good. I didn't know. I need to load back on the surface. This one. I need to fix that. I might have to restart the game. Um, or what I could try doing is taking off with this. This might make it work. And then... That doesn't count as an attempt because it's bugged. I wouldn't have done that. And then go this way. And then... Is it showing up? Yeah, yeah, it's showing up. And then stage, maybe? Okay, we have it now. We're good now. We're chilling. All right. Bob Kerman on tra crashing trajectory. That's okay. Bye, Bob. Sacrifice. Yeah, we have to sacrifice him. He wanted it. He wouldn't have gotten the ship if he didn't know that there was not enough room. So, really, it's his fault. Because I only put three Kerbals in. I don't know how four showed up. You could have given Bob a base, at least. He has the first stage of the rocket that's going to crash nearby. He can see that. It's like a few kilometers away from where he is. He, he can live with that. Next stream is going to be about saving Bob. We could totally do that. I mean, we saved Fred me already. All right. How high do we want our AP? Probably. Well, how high is this? Pretty high. I'm probably going to push this pretty high then. We'll go 100. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we will add a maneuver and try to get our orbits kind of lined up with... I mean, it won't be exactly. I'm not the best at docking, so we'll see how this goes. Let's try that. And then we'll have to set target and figure it out. I missed most of the stream. What happened? We built the entire Saturn V rocket, and this is the first attempt, and it worked, which I'm very surprised about. Um, but right now, we are getting the lander back to the command pod so we can bring Bill back home. We did have to leave Bob, though, because there wasn't enough room for him. He's still over there. Um, but it's going pretty well so far. I'm actually pretty surprised about. All right. Uh, we're going to be burning during night. Should be okay, though. Uh, we have the light of our command or of our lander. Bob got lucky with the stage. <laughs> Chat, I'm a believer. Yes. Don't sell spaceship. What do you mean by that? Bill is going to save his friend Bob. Is he? I mean, he didn't leave him. Chip coined the new currency. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Burn. This should get us in... An okay orbit. I totally could have lined the orbits up better, but I think this will still work. So now we have to dock our ship here with our command pod here. So if we set target. Um, so as I understand it, we need to make sure these are as close as they can get. This Either this one or this one. So there's like different ways to... You're just trying to adjust your maneuver until those are as close as possible. Um, and then... We go from there. But it's kind of hard. I think if we go like this, we can see. Yeah, that's starting to shrink it. That's very extreme, though. Uh... This is hard. I didn't know this is going to be hard. So I don't want him to be super high. Super high relative speed when they cross, you know. So this is making it go down. But it also is going to make me crash into the moon and we can't have that. Are there any experts that kind of know how to make this work easier? 
chat chat i need help chat i got an ad thanks for the money sorry about that don't worry i don't think you missed really anything uh what's the best way to do it these are they're super far now Sadly, I never played KSP2, so I can't help you here. Ugh! Chat, if you subbed, you wouldn't get ads. That is true. That is true. If you sub, you get no ads. Come on. I'm not good at this. I already know. Okay, that's helping. We have 1,200 Delta V, so we can afford to go out of our way on this. I mean, that helps, but... All right, we're getting closer. 261. Oh, one... Oh, look, 75 right here. Okay, we're getting really close now. Or not really close, but closer. Oh, 12,000? Wait, go back. Nine. All oh, right, wait. Go back to nine. And then, what are just these? Huh? What do I adjust to make this closer? Maybe these? No, okay. Here's my plan. We're gonna get 9,000. Um, yeah, yeah, I think this will work. This, uh, obviously I'm not very good at this, but if we go maneuver now, and then we go to the maneuver, burn it so we're 9,000 away then we uh burn retrograde relative to the command pod we will be able to just go straight towards it it'll make sense you'll see what i'm trying to do this will work i'm pretty sure all right so this burn will get us not super close but close enough to we can actually start doing stuff Five, four, three, two, one, cut. All right. Uh, did it work? That does not look like. Huh? Why didn't it work? Where's the point where there'll be 9,000? What happened? Did I burn a little too much? If I burn backwards? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just burned it way too much for some reason. I just followed the thing. I just did what you guys told me to do. Can I use my RCS to kind of adjust this? Oh, yeah, here we go. 20. No, no, no. Other way. Other way, bud. Bud, other way. Why is it? No matter which direction I do, it's going that way. Okay, we'll go with that. 10,000. All right. All right, chat. We're doing it. Look at the mun and look and wonder what Bob is doing down there. Yeah, he's uh, he's right there. You can see his little icon. He's just chilling. For the rest of his life, he will be there. Okay, now what we do is time warp to the closest point. Hear me out. Hear me out, chap. Yeah, look, and then they're getting close. So, like, right here. Then go... Uh set this to target then go retrograde so what this is going to do is set our um yeah, yeah our speed so this is our relative speed to our command module so we want this to be like zero and then they'll be in pretty much the same orbit and i should just be able to go straight towards it big brain watch this watch this i know it probably doesn't really make sense what i'm trying to do but i'm pretty sure this will work all right, so now you can see their orbits are like the same. Use the loud lazy method. Yeah, where you use like the docking, like you lock onto the docking ports. So now if I go at target, 
which is right there, I should just be able to go like this and we'll meet up with it in just a sec. Or at least get really close. Yeah, see, now we're at 464. I know what I'm doing, guys. That's actually crazy. Your camera's out of focus. Oh, that's not good. Why isn't it focusing? It has autofocus. Here, let me find something like this. Uh, uh oh. Oh no, I broke it. Ah, okay, I got it. We're good. We're good. Is it in focus? Why isn't it focusing on me? That's that's weird. Good. Is that good? Yeah. Eh. I think so. It looks good. All right. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna wait till we get close to it. So like right here now. So we'll be right next to it, which it is right there. So see it right there. So now we burn retrograde relative to target again. And we should be pretty close to it. So we want this to be about zero again. Perfect. Okay. And now we burn towards target again. This is not the correct way to do this, um, but it works. And now we should fly right next to it. Yes, it's working. Chat, whatever works, works. That is so real. Mission failed, lost signal on the camera. No, that is not a mission failed. See, there it is. So we do that same thing one more time and we should be right on it. Set his target. Okay, and then we go on this. Wait, wait, wait. Aim at target. Switch to this. Can I see the docking port? That is target. And aim at target. Wait, why is there no control? Oh, it's SAS is off. All right, guys, we're doing it. Now we should just be able to go a little bit forward. And it should dock right on it. Here we go. You have to door dash something to Bob on the moon. <laughs> Bob is starving. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here we go. Wait, Spaceship, do you have the original KSP? I do, um, but I don't really play it. Rips in chat for Bob. Hey, Bob chose to do what he did. He knew the risks. This is a pretty clean dock, I think. I will take that for sure. Here we go. Okay, why didn't they dock? Bro, why aren't they docking? Is my thing in the way? Antenna? What? Why? Target? RCS? I don't know the RCS controls very well. Why aren't they docking? Bruh. Okay, I think it's a bug. So I'm gonna save and then load the quick save. Why did it do that? Control the other rocket? Yeah, we could totally try that. Uh, set us target. Aim at target. Try it this way. It's like spinning too much. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to hit that. I meant to hit RCS. Okay, <laughs> this is not going to plan. Okay. Come on, just get the dock. <gasps> Why isn't it docking? This has to be a bug, right? Because they literally already docked before, so we know that they work. And look, they're literally kissing and it won't freaking dock.
That's the most clean dock I've ever seen. Skill issue? No, it is not skill issue. All right, I'm restarting the game. I am not dealing with this. Uh, save, restart game. I need it to work. Karma, what did I do? Why is my camera not focusing? The universe is against me. Okay, restarting. You killed Bob. Oh, yeah, I guess I did do that. That is karma. Chat, what do you want to do to? Hey, hostile. <laughs> you were too handsome. That what you did. I appreciate that, Burrito Legend 1500. It's Bob's villain arc. He knew that we were going to drop him off, so he, like, broke the freaking docking port when I left him. All right, let's see if it works this time. Please work. I think my camera's be a little more down. Okay. Set his target. Aim at target. Eyes. Okay. Please work. I just need you to dock so I can take Bill home. Okay, worst case, if this doesn't work, we EVA Bill and have him just hop in. I think we might have to do that because, look, this is not working. Okay, we're going for the risky maneuver now. This is going to be hard. Um, let's see if we can set our velocity to zero again on target. It is not going to work. Okay, here we go, Bill. Bill's just going to jump off. Turn your jetpack on. Um, set his target. Oh, boy. There's no target controls. I'm going to have to do this completely manually. Bill, let's go. <laughs> we got to make sure he, he latches on. Okay. Can you imagine if this happened in the real Apollo 11? Like, they just couldn't dock, so they just hopped out of the lander and jumped over. Grab. Board. Let's go. Okay, we saved him. We did save him, so I'll call that a success. <laughs> you failed, though. I did not. How did I fail? I landed on the moon, and I rescued the astronaut I landed on the moon, and there was an extra one, which was not my fault. So we're good. We're chilling. Now we can unset target and take us home. That is definitely a first try. I don't know what you're talking about. I only ever used quick saves for bugs. Where's the best exit point? Like there. And then we just do a mid course correction. Okay, here we go. We're going back. Hello, what is up? Oh, wait, Sybil. You sent four Kerbals and left three? No, we sent four and left one and we're re returning three. So we only only one Kerbal will not make it home. Bob is currently the loneliest Kerbal. Yes, he is. And he will be that way for some time until we decide to rescue him. Three, two, one, go. Send our boys home. Except Bob. It's a sacrifice he was willing to make. Okay, now we should be able to create a maneuver here and slow us down to get into the atmosphere of Kerbin. Like 40k should be good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was pulling the wrong one. Yeah, we got plenty of fuel. This will, this will go smoothly. All right. Oh, I did not mean to do a whole cycle. They're, they're going to be they're just waiting for like months. Rip Bob, he was a real one for real. Yo, what's up, uh, Bwang W? Why am I not getting chips? Um, make sure you're followed and make sure when the bonus thing shows up, you click it. Uh, if you sub, you get a bunch. I don't, I don't know. You should just get them for watching, I think. Actually, Kerbals don't need food and an infinite oxygen, so Bob will live. Perfect. Here we go, boys. Final burn. Send our boys home. 
I saw a meteor last night. That's cool. I like seeing them. Different shooting stars across the sky. Really cool. Okay, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, cut. That looks pretty good. Oh, our PE is a little too low. Let's bring it up a tiny bit. We don't want this too low or we'll be entering too quick. We want it around 40k. I think is the best. I don't really know, but that seems to work. All right, guys. Let's go in. So close to a payout for all the believers. Yeah, unless I mess this up somehow, which I don't think I will. Make sure, yeah, that breaks. Yep, and then aim retrograde and we should be good. Here we go, going back to Earth or Kerbin. Here we go. Back into the atmosphere. You can see our boys in there. Oh, maybe I should add another stage for the big parachutes. Yeah, yeah. So we want the drogues to go out first. Here we go. Okay, I think this is going to work well. Hello, Space Chip. What's up, Laura84? Chip, I voted for you. Are you proud? I am so proud. They're getting cooked right now. Yeah. That's why we have the heat shield. I almost forgot that. Could you imagine if I did all that and then I just didn't have a heat shield? Do a second mission to save Bob. We should save Bob. What are we doing? Saving someone? No, we left someone. <laughs> we did the opposite. <laughs> oh boy. We built the Saturn V and on my first attempt, I managed to make it work pretty smoothly. The only real issue was it didn't dock on the when I brought it back up for some reason and the fairing didn't load. I don't know why those I think they're both bugs, so I don't think they're my fault. Um, yeah, we are definitely skimming through. It might take a second pass, it looks like, which is fine if it does. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah, so it didn't slow us down enough, so we're going to have to go around the planet again, which isn't a big deal. Just have to go around again, which is fine. It's better than burning up. I wanted to believe in you, but I misclicked. What, what, what can I say? I'm just really good. You sure that heat panel is second pass proof? Yes. <laughs> Unity all re-entry effects. Is that what they look like in Unity? All right. Second pass. Let's do it. This should be the last one. This isn't three times speed, too. Bro, they need to get burned alive again, lol. Yeah. Didn't slow down enough. But this should totally do it. I believe. Maybe we might need a third pass, which would be... It looks like we might, yeah. I probably could have gone lower, but it doesn't really matter how many passes as long as they get down. You know? Yeah, one more pass, it looks like. Okay, third pass. I believe the final one. Bill smiling for no reason for real. Yeah, it's because he hated Bob so much that he's like, finally, we got rid of him. <laughs> Let him cook now. They are cooking. Look at them. Come on. I don't want to do a whole other pass. How many passes is this going to take? Another one? Really? I should have gone lower. They're just like in an endless cycle. Who let bro cook? I know. We cannot leave him. He's the one and only Bob. We will save him. Okay. I think one more. I don't know, though. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. I did manage to get this first try, though. All right, last one, I think. We're slowing down more and more every time. How did I get to 50? That's why. It's because I meant to hit 40. Come on. Don't make me do it again. 
It's dropping rapidly. You can see that. Bill looks like he's having the time of your of his life. Yeah, he does. Looks like you failed your mission. How did I fail the mission? Why can't you use RCS to slow down faster? I probably could. If I have fuel. Oh. How do I... I don't think these can go straight down. It's only side to side movement. So I could just like spin them really fast. And that's all I could really do. Okay. I think... One more. And that will definitely be good. Because this one's getting low. They're just spending like a month rotating over and over. Yeah, the other side's dropping so rapidly. So one more pass and they should drop really rapidly. And that will be the end. I am 90% sure it's only one more. Chip, explain how re-entry works. Um, basically, you have a heat shield and the atmosphere is slowing them down. That's why, that's why they're getting smaller and smaller. Because um, like air resistance is hitting it. So you don't need any fuel to slow down, which is nice. And then... Once you're slowed down enough, you just use parachutes. So, yeah, going back to Kerbin's really easy because you don't need any fuel. Like, as long as you can hit Kerbin, you're good. Why can't I time warp faster? Okay. Last pass, I'm pretty sure. Last one. Here we go, boys. Make it more complex. Spin really fast. I, that's going to, like, kill them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> oh, it's going to make my my parachutes go away. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, chill. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost ruined the mission. You can see the parachutes starting to fly out. <laughs> Imagine you crash the landing. It'd be really hard. What are you doing? Don't do that again. <laughs> They liked it. That was probably so many G's, though. It'll show us our max G's uh, once we land. I bet that was a lot. That would totally make them pass out, and it could... That would have been bad if it was real. <laughs> yeah, that's our last pass. You can see we're getting low now. Yeah, definitely last one. Yep, here we go. Looks like we might be landing during the night time, which... It's fine. <laughs> you clipped it. <laughs> I knew what re-entry is. I wanted to see if you know it in a complex way. Or you want... I don't know. How, what's the complex way to do it? <laughs> the air slows you down. I don't know. <laughs> Martin Cito fans can explain re-entry. Why can't you? I'm not a smart. I did my best. I clipped it too late, Rip. Aw. Agreed. All right, here we go. We're actually landing now. I know it's dark. It's kind of annoying. Can we turn the light on in the cabin? Oh, uh, yeah, it's on. There, we were just there! All right. Let's go to one times. Can we open the drogues? Yeah. Make sure, are we over the ocean? I can't tell, it's so dark. How am I supposed to know? Drugs are open. Let's go clutch this, here we go. I don't know, I'll just open those. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. You can see Jeb, he's got the parachute in, in his face because I clipped them inside of the cockpit because they were they looked gross. I think we're landing in the ocean because it automatically went to sea. Which is good. I mean, the real Apollo 11 landed in the ocean, so we're going for realism only. It's so dark. I know. You should have added lights. I should have. You're right, guys. My bad, yo. All right. Oh, yeah, you can see the waves. It's so unsafe to do it at night, lol. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, though. You can see the Milky Way or the Kerbal equivalent, which is cool. Here we go. You see the water. Saving our boys. Turn on the space switch. What's the space switch? All right. We made it. Here we go. Recover vessel. Yes! 
Oh yeah, look, highest G-Force experience, 143. That would have killed them. Spinning it like we did, that would have killed them if they, <laughs> they were realistic. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so many Gs. But, first try. What can I say? I'm insane. Why is it so dark? Why do they make this game so dark? Wait, what? Where am I? Oh, that was where they landed. Okay. All right, guys. Um, if you didn't see the, the, the building process, this is what the full rocket looked like at launch. And it was based off the Saturn V, and it looked like it worked pretty well. Cash me out, spaceship. Do I have to do it? Do I have to end the, the thing? Um, manage prediction. Choose outcome. Yes, first try. There you go, boys. If you believed in me, you got a big payout there. They drowned. They did not drown. Do not, do not try to make it so you, I, you win. So I have no chips now. Sorry. Didn't believe in me. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. That was a pretty good mission. Um, the rocket has a little more fuel than you really need and the fairing didn't work, which was kind of annoying I'm at 3.3 K chips now. That's a lot. That's a lot. How did you get that many hostile? It's probably because you subbed subs get a lot Wait, what did you oh Prediction ended Yeah, so It's pretty much just how the predictions work. It's everyone that voted so like you get a lot more if you vote in the minority, and that's right. It's only 30% of people thought I would get it first try. Um, and that was true, so they got a ton of chips. Bro's not gonna, bro's gonna be not be hungry because he has so many chips. <laughs> What's now in the stream? I think that's, we're probably gonna call it, unless we can think of something really fun to do. Let's see. Let me say, yeah, okay. Rocket saved. Honestly, I feel like I could go to like Duna with that rocket. DoorDash, destroy Pluto. That's always my favorite thing to do. Tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bathroom break. If you guys can come up with something awesome to do, we'll do it. Um, I'll be right back. Give me like two minutes. It's gonna stay starting soon because I don't have a break one. Um, showing an overlay. Yeah, I got you. It'll stay here. Maybe here. I'll give you guys subway surfers because you guys like that. Subway surfers gameplay. I'll run ads. Hee hee. Yeah, there you go. All right, there you go. I'll be right back. Come up with something to do. If it's good, we'll do it. See you in a sec.
Uh, who said go shirtless? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh boy. Chat spaceship is AFK. He'll be back. I am here. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, hostile. Name three Nirvana song. Are you trying to say I'm a poser because of my shirt? Show us your space app. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Name three. I totally could. You really want me to? Well, which album? I like Nevermind. In Bloom. I'm not a poser. Okay, In Bloom. Uh, something in the way. Uh, uh, smells like Teen Spirit. Um, I can't say that one. That one. <laughs> um, Polly. Uh, about a girl. Let me think. Hey, I just named like six. Chill. I'm not a poser. I like Nirvana. This album's in utero, and it's got heart-shaped box on it. Okay, I believe you. Do you have a girlfriend? I do. All right, boys. You come with something to do? Please read my comment about how re-entry works. Oh. Basically, when the rocket goes through the atmosphere at high speeds, the molecules don't have time to move, so they evaporate, therefore creating hot plasma and drag. The more you know. Chip Riz, W Riz. Even Chip has a girlfriend. What do you mean, even Chip has a girlfriend? Like, that's surprising. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> They Pluto is the goat or I will be mad. Pluto is not the goat. Play Space Engine. We could totally do that. Um, how is this guy doing? On, this is the bad one, right? Where he sucks at the game. Not surprised. He looks like Jordan Barrett. Who's that? Let me see. Now I have to look it up. Look him up. Jordan Barrett. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jordan Barrett, guys. I'm the spinning image. <laughs> oh my gosh. More people. I, I guess not really anymore, but more when I was uh, posed like him. Okay. How does he? He's like, I can't do it. I don't have the, the jawline for it. He's got his hair like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you do actually. He looks more Chad. I'll agree. Did you clip? Are you clipping what I just did? <laughs> more people say I look like uh, Max Verstappen. I mean, not really anymore, but I used to get tons of comments saying I looked like him. I honestly don't see it. Here, I can go like this. What do you guys think? That's not how you say his name? Verstappen? How do you say it? Verstappen? Verstappen? Are you sure? Is bro mogging us right now? <laughs> Look it up. Pronunciation. Uh, now, uh, how to say Max Verstappen? Verstappen. How's the music? We are looking at how to pronounce the name of this Belgian Dutch racing driver currently competing in Formula One under the Dutch flag with Red Bull Racing. We don't need your intro. Pronouncing his name, Max. Verstappen. Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Did you get it? Let me know. In it's Verstappen, not Verstappen. I see. Well, people say I look like him. Um. Yeah, that, that's one of the most common comments I get, which I honestly, I don't get it. I don't think I look like him. I don't know. Can you stream on YouTube soon? Perhaps. If you like the streams, just come over to the Twitch. We stream on here all the time. Next stream, Formula One driver. Yeah. <laughs> I should just like 
<laughs> just play like a Formula One game. And it's a compliment for someone to say you look like a celebrity, is it? What if it's a really ugly celebrity? Is it a compliment then? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Well, let's see. Switch back over here. All right, guys. Well, he's handsome. You look like Jack Black, in my opinion. I'll take that. I, Jack Black's awesome. <laughs> I wish I could grow a beard like him. Like, what? What? Come on. I do not look like him. <laughs> I think we're going to call the stream today. Um, that's Spaceship for real. Twins. Play Infinite Craft. Mm, we could play Space Engine. The fact that I know none of these people makes me feel dumb. Are you American? If you're not, it would make sense. I didn't know the first guy. Jack Black, if you've seen, um, he's in um, School of Rock and he plays, what's it called? He's uh, the panda in Kung Fu Panda. Hole. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda. Space Fight Simulator. I think I'm going to do a Space Fight Simulator stream tomorrow because I haven't played Space Fight Simulator in a minute. Um, maybe we'll do something with chat, like chat designs a space station or something, because I did that on YouTube a long time ago, and it did pretty well. You need to play Space Engine. I'll probably do a Space Engine stream or um, another Space Engine exploration soon. But I think we're going to call the stream today, guys. Thanks for coming. Um, oh, ads just rolled. Sorry about the ads. I'll wait for the ad to be over. Lol. <laughs> you laughing at the ads? Um, let's see. This? Yeah, I think I'm going to do... Um, I got no ads. I meant to manage poll. Lol. Did you run the ad? <laughs> When Space Engine stream, let's let's say sometime next week I'll do that. Also, we'll do Space Fight Simulator. So make sure you're followed. Um, also, shh, I guess, yeah, you can see. Um, we're going to do good because you hate Pluto. I do. Bro needs to show us his PC specs. I can do that. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, let me pull it up. Go to... Uh, settings about is that how you do it? System about. I mean, I probably shouldn't docs. I don't know if I should show all this. I don't know what I'm allowed to show. Ryzen or Intel? It's a Ryzen. I'll just tell you, Ryzen nine seventy nine fifty X. At 4.5 gigahertz. I built it. Show us your toilet, please. All right. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Nothing good about Pluto. That's real. All right, guys. Um, if you don't know, uh, once we get to 100 subs on Twitch, which probably will take a while, we're going to do a KSP mission, kind of like what we did today, but in real time. We're not going to use any time warp. And it'll take, it'll probably be like a 24-hour stream. So if you want to sub and get us to that goal, you can do that. Um, I'll probably next stream. I'll probably have it on the screen, uh, which I think will be a fun stream and we'll do like different challenges and we can do, if you've seen, um, what was it? My 50 K stream that I did a long time ago. It'll probably be pretty similar to that while we're waiting for stuff. And we'll, we'll have media share on too. So you guys can send videos. Let me pull up. Let me show you guys what I'm thinking for this stream. Um, on the 50k stream, which was a long time ago. Long time ago. It was on YouTube. This one. I streamed for nine hours, uh, which it's going to be a lot longer. All right. Let's try. So pretty much I had this wheel on stream. Let's see if I can find the wheel. I did a lot of stuff during this stream because it was so long. How long did I play Space Vice Simulator for? Space Engine. When did I do the wheel? Oh, look, we played stuff with chat. See, we'll do stuff like this while it's happening because there'll be a long time waiting 
um, like on the way to the moon and stuff. Did you do a dog and dad reveal? I think I did on this stream. What was uh, the the wheel video? Yes. That's what I'm thinking of. I let chat. Where is it? Chat picks what goes on the wheel. Yeah, I let chat co Today control my. This wheel. Okay. I asked my viewers what I it'll be like this. Mean? We'll do stuff like this on stream, you know? But it'll be more, instead of like in games, it'll be like, yeah, like DoorDash a meal or like play the guitar or let chat do something, you know? Should be pretty chill. Um, but thank you guys for coming today. We're going to call the stream now. I subbed you when you had 50k subs, so I got under 100k roll in the Discord. There you go. New background. Yeah, that was my old room. We're in like, we're in the deluxe now. We got Secret Labs chair. I mean, I had this mic back then. Look, the sticker's still on it. This was only, this was eight months ago. I feel like I look a lot different for only it being eight months ago. That was a cool stream, GG again. Yeah, we're probably gonna do that. You know how to play guitar? Yeah, I do. I did it, uh, it's on my Clips channel. If you, here look, I'll show you. I have a Clips channel if you're not subbed. Called Chip Clips. Um, Let's see. Let's see. It doesn't show up in search yet, probably because I don't have enough subs on it. I need to upload more on it. Yeah, yeah. Here, look, link in chat. So that's how the male attracted the female. Yeah, there you go. See, it's real. Okay, let's got it. We got pause this music. This was during that stream. Yeah, pretty, pretty fun. When will you stream tomorrow? Uh, let's go. Uh, probably 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay, Shave no, your head in a million subs. That's not happening. Oh, yeah, I guess I, I guess I played uh, a few things. All right, guys. Next Space Flight Simulator 3 stream do the Jupiter Moon Challenge. We should do that because I think that's the last thing I need to get 100% in the game. Junior chip versus adult chip. I mean, yeah, I was only 17 here and I'm 18 now. So I guess that's technically true. <laughs> Even though it's not that long, like eight months is not that long. I just grew my hair out and have a mustache now. No, I won't be able to join because of school. That's unfortunate. All right, guys. Thanks for coming, though. Um, if you want to sub to get us to that goal, you, you can. <laughs> and look like Jordan Barrett boy. Yep. Bye, spaceship. Goodbye, Nathan. Thanks for coming to the stream. Thank you all for coming. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. Well, I'll put on my Discord uh, status what we're streaming. I don't know yet. Sounds good though. Bye. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I will see you all. We should should we raid someone? Do you guys want to raid someone? We should probably that's nice to do, right? Let's see let's just see you streaming really quick. Let's see let's just see you stream. Bye Papa Chip. Thank you for the three bits. Yeah, raid is cool. Okay, let me find someone. Um oh this person's playing Kerbal Space Program with nine viewers. Um, I'm watching an ad. I just want to see their stream. Wings. Much like Civ Five is only like. Oh, didn't we? PSP Two is probably fifty. Did we Bond raid this person already? 10. Oblivion's probably six, and then KSP and Dyson Sphere combined are like ten. Let's like, see who's. Is anyone playing Kerbal Space Program Two? Probably has. That's not English. Amount of storage on it. St underscore e f u r. How much space has, is on your computer, just organically? Hey, this this person looks cool. I'd be down. But yeah, I, I probably should. Raid Bishimoto again. Is he live? I don't know. I really I like the idea of this laptop though. No. It's just so portable. So that not live. Is our car? And I could stream like on vacation. I'd be down for this one. If I go Let's on do a road it. trip, I could stream with me. Okay, I need to follow. 
stream. And then I go casino. to my Twitch really cool. settings. Hey, Space Chip. Is yeah. Really, Space Chip? Is that your name? Yeah, that's me. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good name, dude. He doesn't even know we're about to rate him. All right. I'll be a little bit facetious or whatever the word uh, is. I got to go to my like that. thing. My Advance to the front lines. Here we go, boys. You ready? Wow. Stream so manager and then raid. Because it sounds like payload. So when I watch other streamers and they say, Go oh, to payload. sort by, I got to, what? Raid channel. Somewhere. Three terabytes on Where's my, Damn. Damn. can I just search? All right, hopefully hey, Lou. All right, here we go, boys. You ready for the raid? As I enter Jules sphere of influence the game crashed so i'm gonna try to try to have that not happen okay here we go all right everyone all right, here we go. go start spamming quick save though <laughs> he doesn't know we're about to raid him that's funny here we go boys all right i'll see you guys tomorrow time, two minutes. have fun with the raid goodbye